All right, well, Samson Adams, Carter Reed stand out for Lennox tonight in a win over Southwest Valley. Uh, gentlemen, it take, takes extras, but you guys come out on top. Uh, how are you feeling after a game like that? Um, feeling great. Um, it's a great win. Um, you know, we would hope not to have to walk it, walk it off like that. Um, we need to limit the big innings, but um, other than that, you know, feeling great and uh, ready for tomorrow. We have a big tournament. Yeah, hitting the ball feels a lot better and getting smart base running and just scoring, hitting the ball all around is feeling a lot better than the beginning of the year. You mentioned, uh, obviously, you don't want to have to go extras and have the dramatics that you guys did tonight, but sometimes that's just the way the game works. So what does a win like this say about the team to you know overcome adversity and find a way? Um, it just shows our integrity, and um, it shows that, you know, um, our older players can, can keep it going, and um, – it shows that, you know, even as the game goes on, we still stay pretty stable and um, we're able to win those games. So, yeah, it's a really good feeling. It just gives us more confidence just hitting the ball, knowing that we can trust everybody on our team to score runs and do what they need to do at certain times. Describe, you know, the vibe in the dugout going into the seventh. Know what you guys need to do to keep this game going or, or walk it off eventually. Oh, we were pumped up. I mean, that's the most pumped up you can be, you know, going into a – um, you know, final final inning, um, you know, especially the seventh inning, we're down a run. We know we have to get a run. And then especially going in that eighth inning, bottom of the eighth, we know we have to score a run to win. And, um, you know, it just it's a different vibe, and it, it's awesome for sure. It's that dugout. It's being loud, it gets your adrenaline going. You just – you don't think about anything. You just think what you got to do and just play, play the game. Carter, you were on third, two outs, throw gets away you end up moving in. Uh, that's one that, I don't know, maybe a different point in the game. Maybe you're going, maybe you're not. But take us through that from your perspective. I was getting a big lead, and as soon as he brought his leg up, I was getting my big secondary, and if that ball hit the dirt, I was I was going, no matter what. Is that one that, say, third inning, or are you going on that one, or are you as aggressive on that one? I probably would have went, but it probably would have been a lot closer because I wouldn't have had the biggest secondary and starting off lead. Samson, you end up driving, you know, end of the night driving it in. Uh, take us through that. You know, what was your approach? What did you see? Um, you know, my approach was just get contact. You know, we got runners in scoring position. Um, there's also two outs. So, you know, I'm just nice, easy swing, not trying to kill it. Um, and that was my sister. Um, <laughs> you know, for, for the first few swings, you know, I hit down the right field line, nice line drive. It's foul. Um, but that definitely made me feel good um, for the next pitches. And I'm just sitting fastball. And once it comes, you know, drive it. Sure. Yeah, it felt good. Yeah. Let's say, what's the thought when you see a drop? Oh, it's it just, you know, your heart starts racing and, you know, you see all your teammates rush out of the dugout and come and like celebrate. Um, you know, it's a different feeling. It's, it's hard to describe. Um, that's, it's once in a lifetime, you know, so it feels really good. Carter, you had a strong outing on the mound. Uh, I know that there was a one inning where things kind of got away, but, you know, tonight when things were clicking, you know, what, what was it that was clicking? Uh, that, that slider, I just, I gripped that tight and threw it, and it was going right on the inside, and they it either jammed them or they couldn't hit it. It's, I was throwing everything as hard as I could. All right, Coach, uh, you guys certainly made it interesting, but nonetheless, a win is a win. Tell me about tonight. Um, we just got a group of resilient guys. Um, at the beginning of the year, we talked about after the game, we weren't winning these games. Uh, we went to nine innings with Mount Air, a very good team there. We've seen everybody's best pitching up to this point, and that's really helped us at the plate. Um, we've adjusted a few things at the plate, and we're starting to finally hit the ball. Um, our bats are alive, and uh, we're having some smart base running. Uh, it's leading to you know, some good scrappy wins like this right now. Um, we got to stop and limit the big innings, but other than that, we're, we're sitting pretty solid right now, finding our groove. How much does, you know, you go back to last year, the way this season ended, you guys had Cam, you know, on the ropes. How much does the way that year ended kind of show their growth and resiliency on a night like tonight? Absolutely. Um, to be honest, it starts in the off season, uh, you know, building off of last year, our guys, we're, we're not intimidated or scared of anybody. Um, we feel like we can play with anybody any given night. And, uh, you know, that shows tonight. We, we let them back in it. But, you know, like I said, it, it starts in the off season and, and those eighth graders and younger guys that are in the lineup and, and getting good innings and stuff like that right now, you know, I, I attribute that to our off season and them being committed and bought into to what we're doing in the inside in the winter. So um, that's, it's nice to see the, that's kind of work pay off. 
um, once the season starts, and that's you know the rewarding part of being a coach. One inning kind of got away from you guys, where they put up six, uh, and then you guys go into the seventh, you know, down a run. Those two innings take us through kind of the dugout vibe, you know, what the message was to to, to battle back. Yep, we we knew we shot ourselves in the foot there in the I think fourth inning. We gave up all six in one inning. Um, we got to limit those. I think we gave them six outs instead of three. Um, so any, any good team, any scrappy team like them, uh, well coached is going to put some runs on you like that. So we got to limit ourselves when it comes to that. But um, the dugout vibe, I mean, I mean, these kids never give up. That's what we preach. We know the work we've put in, and uh, that's their mindset. And, you know, we know we can play with anybody. Two outs, bottom of seventh, <laughs> Carter on third. You know, how are you feeling at that moment, not knowing what's going to transpire? I'm feeling pretty good because we tr I, I, we truly trust everybody at the plate right now. I, we cannot all say that um, that was the case at the beginning of the year, but we truly trust everybody right now to uh, get the job done, and, and that's what those guys are doing. They're building off each other. Speak to Samson's game winner. Uh, again, probably a situation where you felt good with what you had there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's he's been three or four hole all year um, for a reason. He's a junior leader for us, um, and for good reason. He, you know, I don't think he had a great stat night in the book, but um, got a few, you know, a good hard fly out earlier in the game, and uh, did what it took, you know, takes. So those juniors, they have a little bit of experience. He's been playing since he was a freshman, so um, he's comfortable in those situations. That's what we like. I know, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's it's just one win, but it, they're hard to come by. Definitely in the Prado, Iowa, uh, and it's it's busy but it's a short season how do you guys try to build off this going forward absolutely it's momentum for us um we've had a couple of tough losses this week um seven games this week in six days seven games in five days next week and like you said um there's truly not a night off in the pride of iowa um we love that about our conference and it makes us better um like i said we've seen everybody's best pitcher up to this point and uh it's really helping us right now getting some momentum